So AI, is it replacing us web designers yet? Or where's this at exactly? Because I've been around the web design community for a long time, long enough to remember companies like The Grid that promised AI generated websites and then shut down when everyone realized it was kind of vaporware. But that was like six years ago. It's 2023. This is the era of mid-journey and chat GPT. So what's the state of the art in AI website generation? Is this possible yet? Well, today we're gonna find out. I tried a bunch of different AI website tools, and I'm gonna show you five that I think give an overview of where we're at. So let's see what they can do. Okay, first up, Pineapple Website Builder. Simple AI website builder for busy business owners. So I have this prompt here that we're gonna to try to use consistently across all of the different AI tools. Um, let's put in our prompt, let's see what happens. The prompt is just for a pest control website. It's like a typical small business website. Okay, it looks like they've used ChatGPT to generate some text. Let's start the generation. Okay, here we go. Here's our website. Is that a Nintendo Switch controller? Um, okay, mostly this just feels like it generated text with ChatGPT and pulled in some related images and not so related images. Um, this kind of feels like it's not an actual website design. It feels like it's just putting it into a template. Um, and probably the biggest tell for that is the uh, Dropbox, Spotify, Airbnb, and Google icons. Probably not gonna be necessary for a pest control website. Yeah. Maybe I'm being too hard on them. Let me go back to their homepage. Did I misinterpret this? Simple AI website builder for busy business owners. That does sound like you're gonna get like an AI generated website, doesn't it? Your own personal designer, AI copyright. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's not, Generate your website. I'm not seeing a lot of generating of websites here. Okay, fair enough. Let's not dwell on it. Next up, we have durable AI. Let's try that one. Build a website in 30 seconds using AI. Let's do that. Um, okay, so no prompt here, but we're building a nice pest control website. Toronto, sure. Uh, the name of the business, the Raccoon Wrangler. Okay, here we go. Um, nice. Oh, what's this? Regen. That's right, okay, so this is cool. You can regenerate sections, that's a nice idea. Um, eliminate pests with E, <laughs> that's a creepy looking spider. And this is, I only do raccoons. This company only does raccoons. Let me see if I can get a raccoon here. That just looks like a gardener. All right, whatever, <laughs> okay, moving along. Um, I mean, that's a strange, <laughs> that's a strange image, I don't know. Doesn't really apply here. Okay, about us at the Raccoon Wrangler, we are dedicated to probably top-notch pest control. Classic chat GPT uh, generated text. Seems like that's basically what all of these uh, tools do. Um, I'm so grateful for that. Okay, they generated testimonial. That's, that's kind of fun. I don't know, this feels like a template too. It feels like they're just using chat GPT to generate text. They're finding images, um, some related, some not so related and they're plugging it into a template. I could be wrong, but I've actually done this a few times and each time the website looks like this. Okay, so this is kind of the problem. Like I said, I tried a bunch of different website builders and a lot of them sort of fall in this category of being sort of just templates that drop in chat GPT generated text and maybe a few related images. And they're not really generating fresh original website designs. They're just trying to join in on the hype train of AI, which fair enough, I get it. You're a business, why wouldn't you? But I think this next tool will be a little bit more interesting. Okay, so next up, we're gonna try Framer. Some of you might already know Framer. They're kind of like a Webflow competitor, maybe a bit easier than Webflow. But they have this new AI tool that I've tried before and it's pretty interesting. So let's try this. Start with AI. Let's grab our prompt. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Let's see what they got. Uh, we'll stay sort of zoomed out a bit here. Wrangle, call now, today's date. <laughs> Coon proof your home, there's, is that birdhouses? Um, some nice testimonials. Okay, this is interesting. They let you regenerate, so let's just regenerate again. I wanna see what else they can do. Okay, here we go. 
Okay, at least this doesn't feel so template-y. At least it's, the design feels a little different. Uh, <laughs> so I think that's a bunny in the background. Uh, fair enough. Um, it's still a pest. How do you remove a little FAQ? Hey, there we go. I did, in my prompt, I ask, make the file, uh, I say, make the phone number visible in case of emergency. And they've actually given me a call to action right here with the phone number. So that's awesome. First tool to actually get that right. Okay, I think we're getting a little bit better here. Um, but let's keep going. Next up, we have Mid Journey. Okay, so in Mid Journey, we just say imagine, and then we add our prompt. Let's just drop in the prompt that I wrote. Um, I think we'll probably have to adjust it a little bit for Mid Journey. Okay, cool. <laughs> I think these are just awesome pictures of cute raccoons. Um, so I'm gonna adjust the prompt and actually, I've pre-written a prompt um, that I think is going to work better in mid-journey. And I've added this at the end, which just basically tells it to have a 16 by 9 aspect ratio instead of a square. Okay, I think we're... Yeah, these are these are good. I actually like this first one, though this gun is probably a little bit aggressive for a pest control company, but whatever. Let's get a few variations on that first one. All right. Oh my gosh, this is this is wild. Um, so okay, so the guns is too much. It's not. I don't think you'd want that for a small business website. But I'm gonna stick with it because, whatever. This is not actually gonna be a pest control website. So obviously, Mid Journey's not doing any copywriting or anything like that. I kind of love this second one. Let's upscale that. Upscale number two. <laughs> And yeah, that's sweet. That's pretty sweet. That's a wicked looking, at the very least, you have an awesome mascot that you can like wear on your shirts and stuff, your uniforms, I mean. And this is the first tool that's actually generated a website. Now, in fairness, it's just an image. It's not an actual website that now I can publish or anything like that. I'd need to like cut up this image and, and translate it into a website. If you search YouTube, there are lots of tutorials to show you how to do this. I'm not gonna get into that, but I think this is like obviously super impressive. Okay, last tool, ChatGPT. Right, I'm, I'm gonna adjust the prompt to say, write HTML and CSS for a pest control website. Uh, blah, 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 my same old prompt. Okay, just by seeing the CSS that it's generating, I can tell this is probably gonna be pretty boring. So um, I'm gonna give a follow-up prompt. Um, styles, appropriate for a small business. See if it can make it just a little more stylish looking. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly grab the HTML, go into my text editor, and I'll grab the CSS, and I'm just gonna put it in the header. Um, first, let's just open it up, see what it looks like. Pretty good, let's grab a cute raccoon though. And let's save and okay. In case of emergency, call the number right front and center. That's really good. That's really good. Uh, we got some nice navigation, nice big image, your trusted pest control, our services, about us, contact. I mean, this is kind of amazing, actually. This is really good. Uh, you just upload the static HTML and CSS and you're good to go. It's not beautiful. Um, but do you need your pest control website to be like stunningly beautiful anyways? I don't know. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So, like I said, I tried a bunch of AI website generating tools, not just these five, but honestly, a lot of them are kind of the same thing. They would use ChatGPT to generate your website text, and then they'd sort of plug it into a template. It wasn't actually generating a new website design. ChatGPT and Midjourney really were the only ones that felt like they were generating actual fresh website designs. Of course, in the case of Midjourney, it was uh, an image that you'd still need to translate into an actual, you know, actual code. So I think there's obviously reason to be hopeful that AI is going to be generating websites for us in the future, but I'm just not quite sure we're there yet. We might just need tools to evolve a bit more. In any case, thanks for watching.